Hey there everybody, I'm meteorologist Cassie Nall and our Wednesday forecast is not nearly as soggy as our Tuesday forecast was. Yesterday we ended up seeing anywhere from a half an inch to over two inches of rain around the sun coast and that was just round one. Then last night we ended up seeing another round of some very much needed rainfall for the sun coast. Mostly it was just light to moderate rain just kind of soaking into the ground as needed helping to chip away at that rainfall deficit with, that we're running right along the beaches. And we didn't have, end up having one report of some hail down to the south, but overall, just a benign bit of rain that ended up moving through the Sun Coast yesterday and last night. Now today, the heaviest rain is going to be over South Florida and to the east of our viewing area. We'll still maintain, though, about a 30 to 40 percent chance of some scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder today. So keep the umbrellas within reach, and those winds are going to become a bit breezy today, gusting out of the west as high as 20 to 25 miles an hour. It'll still be warm this afternoon, and actually closer to where we should be for this time of year with highs in the lower to middle 80s. Just keep an eye and an ear to the sky for the potential of those scattered showers or that rumble of thunder. Now, as we go through the next couple of days, big changes are on the way to the Sun Coast. Some relief, finally, from all that humidity we've been dealing with as of late. The area of low pressure, the parent system that brought us the rainfall uh, yesterday and last night, is going to be moving off into the Atlantic, pushing a frontal boundary through the Sun Coast late tonight and into the day tomorrow. That's why the winds are going to be breezy. Behind that front, much drier air will be arriving, and that means not only will the rain chances be going down, but so will the humidity levels. So here's how we're seeing it for the next couple of days. For Thursday, rain chances, you might see a sprinkle, but overall I think we're going to be dry for the day tomorrow. Those breezy winds continue for Thursday and Friday. By Saturday, very seasonable conditions expected. The weekend is looking to be gorgeous for the Sun Coast, and you know what? I don't think we're going to have a chance of rain in our forecast again until early next week. Stay tuned to SNN, your Sun Coast News Network, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on the channels listed there on your screen. And have a good Wednesday, everyone.